Good morning guys, it's Jason Greystone here from Trade Empowered. I just wanted to um, follow on from the video yesterday really. We was looking at the Aussie CAD and I was looking uh, to use an advanced pattern and explain how you can use an advanced pattern to shoot for extended targets. Now, you can see that we got our cipher pattern completion on the, on the hourly in the end, um, which completed down at 96.13. I got involved in the trade down at 96.13. Uh, you can see that market came down, tested this level again, which we expected. And you can see it put in these two nice tweezer candles uh, wicks here, which generally, you know, generally when you see this, it's a, it's a good indication that the market might rally. Um, so we've got the cipher pattern completion. I'll just draw that out so everyone can see using the cipher tool and if you don't know how to use the cipher tool or why you should use the cipher tool I've done a video on that so if you check out my YouTube channel you'll see it over there now for targets as I'm looking to shoot for extended targets I'll take I split my contracts into three the first target I mean we have to adjust our our targets here because we've pushed down past the decompletion slightly my first target will be at the 382 retracement you can see it's a it's an inverse risk reward, but cipher patterns generally are. Um, but we take them because they have a positive expectancy uh, and and they're very frequent in the market. So my first target will come off here. I'll take off half of my position here. Uh, if this target is hit, I'll roll my stops to break even. So my stops will be rolled to break even. So yeah, I'll take half. I'll take half of my position off at the 382 retracement. Then what I'll do is I'll take a third of my position off at the previous structure high. Okay, so I'm taking half off here, a third off here, and then what I'll do for the last third of my position size, I'll take a Fibonacci extension from X to C. And I'll shoot for the 127 extension because I'm expecting a rally. So it's a nice way of squeezing some extra pips out of the market. Um, those of you who want to trail their stops, I mean, you might want to take half your contract off at the 618 or half at previous structure and then trail your stops for the other half. And, and by trail stops, I mean... I roll my stops to break even when my first target's hit. Um, then once you've broken previous structure, if I explain here, you get an outside return. And then as soon as you push up, test this level, as soon as you get a break and close above this level, then you roll your stops from here to here. And then so on. So you'll get a, an outside return. You'll break and close above this level, new structure high, uh, and then you then you move your stop from here to here, and eventually you 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 know you'll you'll get stopped out. It's a great way to shoot for extended targets, and this is how I'm using an advanced pattern as my reason for entry to shoot for extended targets. Hopefully, we can see a rally here, and we'll make some money. Hope you found this video useful and just gives you an insight in what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you like what you see, go over to www.tradeempowered.co.uk and you'll get the opportunity to sign up for a London live session. It's completely free from the 1st of December to the 4th of December. And you'll get to come in and watch me trade live for three hours every day, doing my analysis, exactly what we're doing here, and going through my trading opportunities. So... Hopefully, I'll see you then.